see your name, but uh, Kelani, you know, can Then you? Uh. <laughs> He's talking. So, so that you guys know, this is my mother-in-law from yeah. California. Um, so, my dad passed away in 81. My yeah. mom passed away in 2015. And then my father-in-law, her husband, passed away in 2018. So she, between San and I, she's the last parent that we have left. So she's very special. <laughs> very, very special. And she's been my mother-in-law for going on 26 years. Um, but, you know, as you guys know, I don't know if you guys know, but she's Thai. And then my father-in-law was Laotian and then I'm Vietnamese. So we have a little bit of a language barrier, but the one thing we do have in common is we love to eat. Love to eat. <laughs> so love to as eat. long as we can pronounce each other's food, we'll, we're fine, right, Matt? Okay. What, what is your favorite um, Vietnamese food? Um, Ban Kuan. Ban Kung, see? Bi Bun. Bi Bun, Bung Bi. Ban sale, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then for me, it would be uh, tamakung, oh, oh, tamateng, everything. nem cow. Every, everything, <laughs> everything. Uh, <laughs> nem cow, cow pun, yeah. I love all of that. Yeah. But yeah, so, see, I mean, as long as we can pronounce each other's food, we don't need to have any other com <laughs> communication. Uh, right. Yep. <laughs> right? You guys didn't know, this is where all the all the draft kits come from. Someone's mom right here. <laughs> yeah. All the way from San Diego. <laughs> What's up guys? So as you may remember, this is the four-door Integra from uh, Tony over at TR Auto Works. This is going to be his giveaway car, so uh, we're just working on modifying a few different things for it to adapt with the all-wheel drive. Um, as you may remember, we did the all-wheel drive install on this with our Delta 7 diff mount as well as Alpha 6 arms. Um, what we're doing now is basically just going through and fixing a couple little things. Um, one was the fuel pressure regulator. You might have remembered from a prior video that um, it didn't clear the hood, so we moved that and lowered it down some, um, as well as the catch can setup. Um, we had to kind of close off the, the main filters that were coming out of the top there and just adapt that so everything will clear with the hood. Um, also, the header uh, would not work with the transfer case housing, so what we did is basically adapted the runners to be able to shift it and get it to clear uh, down below so that it wouldn't hit the transfer case, and we'll go ahead and raise the car up and show you that from there. Uh, but This is a fully built uh, K24 A2 with a K20 head, um, and it's an all-motor car that he's going to be doing a giveaway on. So definitely keep an eye out for it here in the in the near future because it's about done here's a quick look over guys t bracket on there so yep we're gonna lift it up show you guys what we're doing with the exhaust As you can see here, uh, this car has our complete all-wheel drive kit. It includes our Delta 7 diff mount. He's using our billet lower control arms, the billet forks, as well as our camber and then tow kit. And this setup is using, like I mentioned before, the Alpha 6 trailing arms. And then obviously our CRV diff with clutch locking plates. And this one is set up with a stage one uh, drive shaft that we make. So uh, we actually made this drive shaft for the car to spec. Um, and then as I talked about before, the header, uh, what we're doing now is basically adapting the rest of the tubing from here. So this had a flange on it that was actually touching the sway bar. We went ahead and cut that off, put a V-band on there. And then as you can see behind you here, we have the exhaust that we're building out. So this is basically going to basically going to come up and it's going to fit 
through the center here and then basically it'll come out straight as a three inch oval and then from there we're going to kind of pie cut it up and then transition it back into a uh, actual just straight three inch exhaust awesome. out the back yeah so what we did is we, we notched through this little panel here and then I started on the plates I'm gonna just basically plate this out uh, we'll weld this on and then add a little seam sealer in there just to cover up that hole there as well as the same for back here this one right here yep okay. yeah so we'll plate both of those off but this way we could get the exhaust tucked as tight as possible and get the most ground clearance for this car Nice, and you got some pie wells on this thing already? Uh, just oval. tacked everything. Tacked yep. everything up. Yep, just to make sure everything was good. This this part's been welded back to the flex, and then from there, we're just tacking everything just to get it straight, get it aligned the way we want it. Okay, cool. And then we'll go ahead and get this welded next, and then finish out the rest of the back of it. All right, cool. So I see you guys, you can go all motor, and have your exhaust, see where Mike is doing it. We, we did a couple of these exhausts before in, in the past. Yeah, we've done a few. We're not really an exhaust shop, but you know, if it needs to be done, we'll do it. But yep. usually you can just check ARH for the exhaust. Hit up Brooke in a minute. Yep, so as you said, it's a stage one drive shaft. We actually got a stage one drive shaft in stock right now. If you guys wanna hit us up, so it's a stage one drive shaft uses the stock tubes, 1310 with a slip right here. Uh, and you get a um, 30K used, 1310 in the rear. And these are 1100 series right here. So that's the stage one. Perfect for doing um, all motor, or if you're even turbo, you could do a stage one if you're doing like cross, um, cross country, um, not cross like country, road, like road, road courses, or, road yeah. courses, so stuff like that. On, yeah. on most of those, like once you get north of like 400 horsepower or so, yeah. we recommend going with the stage two because stage. most times when you make that much power, you're gonna plan to bump the power well, up more even more, more anyway. Yeah. So, yeah. so if you're slip, better stay be safe moderate. than sorry. Um, yeah. We had a, customer just recently that basically he did the same thing his car was only making like four four fifty so he just bought a stage one and then he turned it up to like seven seven fifty and he blew up the eleven hundred series joint the joints right here yeah the so these yeah, joints so are the only the only weak points you want you, you want to get these thirteen ten also but by the time you do that as you said our draft shop we might as well get a stage two right yeah exactly yeah. get a stage two we also sell the complete DIY um, if you have, you know, a, a drive shaft shop near you that's able to build you one and you want to do it yourself, um, we have a DIY kit that's the complete from front to back, back. every flange 1310 okay. and you would use thir uh, three, inch three inch tubing with that. Yep. Yep. And that's, yep. So that's a good buy also guys. Yep. Alright, check it out. Stay tuned on this TR Auto giveaway car right here. It's a four door DC with a Type R JDM front end.